Good morning, everybody. It is Miss Truck Girl Kiana here and Miss Serafina. So we're delivering here. Uh, we have a 4.30 appointment. But as you can see, there's another truck in the door. So we get to wait on the street until you're ready. He said he'll come walk out to us once he's ready and then uh, to get the back in. So, um, we are, it's the second day off ahead of time. We delivered the first part of this load in um, Knoxville yesterday. We drove down here to Charlotte. And I'm supposed to deliver it this morning at 4 30. So, I'll tell you what, the uh, delivery in Knoxville was probably just as bad a setup. Um, but I only partially went onto the grass as compared to like what it looks like the other trucks have done. And, yeah. At any rate, I think I'm gonna just chill out here while I wait for him to come walk over here. Because he said he's going to walk out to me uh, when he's ready. So, y'all have a beautiful day. I'll be back soon. Alrighty, so like I said, we've already checked in. And we're currently, he just came over to talk to me. So, currently waiting on the CFI that was in the dock to pull out. And once they pull out and pull up, then we are going to uh, pull up back in um, to this driveway that you see right in front of me. Um, this is a very stressful thing. I'm going to say that right now. Um, it was challenging, but not impossible. I got out to look, I think at least 10 times. I don't know. I don't remember how many I got out there. But, um, I was trying to avoid the park cars in our lot, and I was trying to avoid hitting the semi in the dock that was that is next to me. Uh, you see at the end of the video how it's all laid out. Um, but kind of set myself up wrong the first time, but I fixed it. I got in, and I'm hitting up them. I did go under the dirt, so see there's the other see if I just out now. Um, and he's gonna go up the hill. Well, and then I'm gonna uh, pull up behind him and back in. Uh, there's nobody on the street because it's like five o'clock in the morning right now. Um, my appointment was 4:30. I got here a little bit before 4:30, and um, so yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. But we made it. We got here. We did the thing. Um, I was planning to be here a little bit earlier, but when I woke up this morning, I just wasn't fully awake because I went to sleep early yesterday because I was tired for some reason. Um, and when I went to sleep, I woke up at like 9 o'clock last night, and then I stayed up to like 10, 10.30, and then I went back to sleep and I slept in, so... As you see, I'm taking my time back in because I'm trying to avoid their uh, telephone pole right outside. And so I'm taking it nice and slow. And for a minute there, I thought I was getting really close to it. So I stopped. Then I looked, and I was like, ah, oh, no, I'm good. So I keep backing in. And i um, trying to be quiet because I don't, I think this truck driver next to me is sleeping. I could be wrong, but I, I I'm not sure. But I just, I'm trying not to disturb them if they are sleeping, so uh, that's why I'm a little bit quieter in this video and whatnot, but yeah, so I don't know, it, it's been, it's been pretty good and whatnot. We've been, we just enjoyed our five days of home time, uh, the last day of which was spent in West Memphis. Uh, but that's okay. That's because I had to return the rental car. So, next time, 
I will reserve the rental car to return a little bit later in the day. Not that that would have made that much of a difference, but it would have been nice to not get up so early and then go straight to this Memphis. But, okay, no matter. So the other half of this uh, really dropped off in Knoxville, uh, and that place was moderately tight, but it wasn't bad. And then uh, yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, when we were driving to Knoxville from West Memphis, um, the truck decided it wanted to throw a uh, error code. I stopped at my fuel stop, fueled up, pulled forward to the white line, and ran inside. Like, legit ran inside. Said to pee. Um, <laughs> really bad. And so when I came back out, and I tried to put the truck in here, it said there was a transmission uh, code error, uh, something like that, and it wouldn't let me go into gear. And I was like, what the heck, why aren't you letting me go into gear? You know? Um, and I was just so confused. And then, uh, so, turn the truck off let it sit off for a couple minutes and I turn it back on and then we finished out the remaining 27 miles to the uh, first stop and uh, in Knoxville and right as I was making getting ready to make the second to the last turn I got that same error code um, except for this time since I was actually driving and I was already in gear well, <laughs> thankfully it didn't take me out of gear it said um, continuing to drive will cause uh, transmission damage and so I pull in, I was like on the second, getting ready to do the second to the last turn. So I made my right turn and then I turned left into the customer and I pulled in, um, which is not the correct way to pull into that place, but that's besides the point. Um, I was more concerned about the, the error code and actually causing damage to the truck than I was pulling into it correctly. So, um, so yeah, we pulled in there, called road service, and I guess what you had to do is pull one of the fuses, leave it out for 20 minutes, and then put it back in, and that seems to have corrected the issue. I've not had the issue since then. So, as far as I know, that corrected it. I could, however, be wrong. I know that another driver has had the issue, so... Because um, I was talking to them, I was like, hey, this happened. And... Um, they also have the 2023 version. Uh, 2023 model, so um, yeah, they they made me aware of other issues. Don't, don't mind me, I just accidentally stopped my own recording for whatever reason or other. Um, but anyway, so we are now in the dock. We're just sitting here waiting to get unloaded. Um, I think he's gonna unload the truck next to me first. And then he's gonna take care of mine and whatnot. But yeah, so we're just sitting here. I might turn the truck on in a little bit and make um, a couple of sausages for breakfast. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. So uh, I think what I'm doing right here is actually opening the doors to the trailer. Um, yeah, because I just got back in. Looks like. Yeah, then you see him buckling the seatbelt and all that. So, yeah. But we got into the dock, we did what we did, and yeah.